Hello once again YouTube and welcome to another Halo Megablocks review by the SS Motion. So today I'll be reviewing the UNSC Rhino set which is item number 97016, is 822 pieces and currently retails at about 60 to 70 pounds. The back of the packaging shows some of the 2012 range including the Warthog Resistance, Banshee Blitz, New Mole 2012 Wraith and Countdown. Figures included in the set, I'll begin with UNSC and I'll begin with the figure that I'm actually quite disappointed with. The first one is this marine here. Now the only reason I'm disappointed with it is the fact that we've already seen this marine before. Now for most people this will actually be a new marine because this was seen in the UNSC Floodgate which was a Toys R Us exclusive and was quite rare. So most people this will be a new figure but for me it's actually not because we got this in the Floodgate and it came with a flood head and arm. But in saying that, we do get a lot of figures and weapons in this set, so it's really not a bad thing, and it's a fantastic marine anyway, in a lime green colour with black detailing, really, really nice desert camo detailing here, which is really actually quite incredibly nice. It's got a gold sunglasses and an open visor, and just, just some really nice design details on the back and front, making it a really good figure, even though we've seen it before. Now, the next figure up, is the red UNSC Scout. Now this is an incredible figure. We've not seen many Scouts before, we've seen it in the Desert and Cobalt Armoury packs and in the Wraith, but this is a really nice Scout. Scout, arms, chest and head, and basic legs, and it's just really nice in a red colour with black secondary and a gold visor. Now the other thing we also get in this set is Recon, and this is the Recon chest uh, arms and head and is a really incredibly nice Spartan as well. Now we don't actually get any legs with this, it's a part of the armory set so you can choose which one you actually uh, make, but uh, this is why I actually like Mega involving very common colours because we've already seen the normal red Spartan in the Series 2 random packs and if you take the legs of that one and just attach them in, it just works perfectly and you basically get two figures for your money if you've got spares of those red Spartans because they were very very common in the Series 2 random packs. So if you have a spare Spartan you actually do get two figures. But the, the figure obviously won't have any black detail on the legs but that doesn't really matter. You get two really nice figures and that also has a gold visor black detailing on the red primary colour. And the, UNS, uh, the Covenant figures we get are the two Spec Ops grunts in a really nice yellow colour. Now we've not seen that many yellow figures actually, we've got a Commando Elite, we have a Marine and a Hazop, but we don't have that many and we have a Spartan and Flight Elite, but not that many of this bright yellow colour. It's a really nice colour and we've not seen many Spec Ops grunts, we've seen one in the Shade Turret and uh, th different things, but not that many. So this is a, these are really nice figures, both the exact same. We have a yellow primary colour with black secondary, really nice detailing on the little gold, the little green eyes there, and some black detailing on the actual helmet with some white detailing on the back here. So a really nice figure there, really nice. Moving on to the Rhino itself, now I'll try and go into as much detail as I can with this, but if I miss anything out, please do comment in the description below, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So this Rhino is an incredible incredible vehicle. Now this was originally seen in Halo Wars so most people won't actually have played with it but it is a really nice vehicle. Now there's some details on this that really stand out has been incredible. Some things like the uh, stands at the back for walkways and things these are really nice they fold out like so and just th there's some really nice design features here. Now there's two opening cockpits here that, that has a driver's seat and a steering wheel and there so that's really nice design. It's got a uh, six caterpillar tracks, which is uh, it's a massive uh, vehicle. I mean, if you see a figure displayed next to it, this thing is huge. I mean, compared to the Scorpion, it this, it makes the Scorpion look puny. It's absolutely incredible. It's got a really nice redesigned cannon Scorpion, and it's there's there's a lot of stickers. I don't really particularly like stickers, but I don't mind with this set. There's some really nice detail, including there, and with uh, safety logos and the UNSC logo there, and different battle down damage on the other side. So there's some really nice, really nice designs there. I really like the uh, rotary blades here and the engine here. Just some really nice design features have gone into this Rhino. It's an incredibly nice colour and there's a lot of detail. 
The six caterpillar tracks do move back and forth and they are really really nice. This this vehicle is absolutely incredible. I can't go into all the detail but it really is nice. There's a lot of nice detail and some of the stickers do peel but you know with a bit of glue that doesn't really matter and it is a really incredible vehicle. Now one thing I was very pleased with with this set was the sheer amount of weapons you get. You get, and this isn't very uh, likely, I mean n not many sets actually have this, but you get more weapons than you actually get figures. So we'll start with the first weapon which I found quite confusing and a little bit weird. We have this fuel rod gun. Now if you've seen the original fuel rod gun it's in a lot of different colours but every, every Halo fan knows that the fuel rod is a yellow gun and the primary colour is yellow. Now all the other figures, uh, all the other weapons in the Mega Bloks sets, in all the different Covenant ones, are all in plain purple if they're in normal sets and sometimes they're detailed in things like armories. But usually when they are just a plain purple colour, the primary colour of the weapon in Halo is actually purple anyway. But this is a bit funny. I, I would have chose a primary colour of yellow for this if you only had to include one colour for the mould, but it still is really nice and has the uh, the weapon, the ammo that you can take out here in translucent green that also just adds to the really nice effect of the actual s weapon and you can get the covenant to actually hold the weapon ammo. So it is a really nice weapon there and a lot of detail but you know the fact that it's in purple is a bit bizarre but I'll I'll let that go. Uh, the real thing that stood out in this set is this backpack. Now this is the radio backpack and this is brand new to this set for the UK buyers. This has only been seen in the Snowbound Combat Pack in uh, America and it came with a blue marine with snowy feet but this has not been seen in England this is a really nice backpack comes in two pieces the actual radio antenna comes off like so but a really nice detailed backpack there and really nice for any uh, battlescapes just really nice design and we also have a plain purple needler plain purple plasma pistol, a plain purple plasma grenade, a plain black assault rifle, and a plain black battle rifle. And also, if that wasn't enough, if you hadn't already got enough with all the stuff you get anyway for the price, you get this really nice foreigner structure. Now, this is a really nice design. It's all uh, stood up using this translucent blue piece that comes up here. They're all clipped on with these really nice translucent white clips and the whole design of it is incredible. It stands on this green base plate and is attached to a different slightly lighter green base plate here that has some nice grass detailing there and a sh plasma shield and a plasma turret which is really nice. We've not seen many of these plasma turrets, in especially not in England. They were in the original Brute weapon packs so they're really nice to see and it clips together using this single 4x2 piece which goes like that and clips it into place. So a really nice design there and the foreigner structure is really nice in a metallic colour with some nice sticker detailing for the lights and this 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 translucent blue light that goes up is really really nice. This is my favourite foreigner structure by far so far. So for not that much money you actually get an incredible amount of stuff here. You get a brand new vehicle from Halo Wars, the UNSC Rhino really really nice detailing and a massive massive vehicle you get a really nice foreigner structure which is really nice and well suspended and just a great design you get two new spec op grunts which are really really nice color you get this brand new red scout which is a really good design really nice color again and you get the recon which if you have a spare red spartan you can customize to make this recon so you also get this marine with the brand new radio backpack. I know it's a uh, duplicate marine from a different set, but still a really nice marine, all the same for people that didn't get hold of the floodgate. And you get a plasma shield and a plasma turret and some nice grass detailing on the green base plate. So you get an incredible amount and I would strongly recommend this to anyone that's going to go out and buy it. And this was another Halo Mega Bloks review by the SS Motion. Please like, favourite and subscribe if you enjoy what you see and we'll see you next video.